Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Toned In Entertainment, where we love pop culture. Today, it's time for another movie look back review. Now, recently here on the channel, I went back and I reviewed probably the first comic book movie I ever remember watching, and that was the Superman movie released back in 1978. And I have to admit, I still really enjoyed that movie, even to this day. If you guys missed my review, the link is down below for that video. Now, there were a total of four movies in this series, so it's time to jump into the sequel and review Superman Part 2, released back in 1980. The movie stars Christopher Reeve as Clark Kent and Superman, Gene Hackman as Lex Luthor, Margaret Kidder as Lois Lane, Terrence Stamp as General Zod, Sarah Douglas as Ursa, Jack O'Halloran as Nod, and this theatrical version that I'm reviewing was directed by Richard Lester. Now Lex Luthor is locked up. General Zod and his cronies are spinning helplessly through space, trapped in the Phantom Zone. And Clark Kent, he's trying to live a normal life and try to have something more than just a friendship with Lois Lane. But what good would a superhero movie be if there was just peace on Earth? Now, as the movie opens up, there's a group of terrorists that are about to destroy the Eiffel Tower. And being the Daily Planet's best reporter, Lois Lane, is sent there on assignment. But Lois Lane, she ends up finding herself in quite the predicament. Now, realizing that Lois could be in big trouble, Clark quickly transforms into the Man of Steel and heads to Paris to foil this terrorist plot. But unfortunately, he takes the bomb out to outer space, and that gives the opportunity for the three Krypton criminals, well, to make their escape. Now, being the crack investigator that Lois Lane is, she comes to the realization that Clark Kent and Superman are the same person. And even when she can't get Clark to admit it, she does some pretty bizarre things to prove her point. Now, once it's confirmed to Lois that he is the same person, Superman comes to a dilemma. If he wants to spend his life with Lois and live a normal life, he's gonna have to give up his super abilities. However, General Zod and Lex Luthor, well, they're gonna throw a monkey wrench into those plans. Now, the first Superman movie was directed by Richard Donner. When filming began of the sequel, Richard Donner was once again taking up the helm as director, but there was some controversy during production, which led to Richard Lester taking over as director. And when I was watching this movie this week for the first time in about 30 years, you could really tell that there was no sense of direction. It almost feels like a big jumbled mess at times. Now, the best way for me to describe Superman 2 is if you're tasked with putting a giant puzzle together. And when you sat down and looked at this puzzle, you realized that you had several missing pieces. And instead of getting the right pieces to this puzzle, you decided to make your own just to say it was complete. Now, do I recommend you guys watch Superman 2, the theatrical version? Yes, I do, especially if you're like me and you enjoyed the first movie and you wanna watch the entire series, then watching part two is probably pretty critical to the entire series plot. Even at times, it's a jumbled mess, but you just have to go into it with lower expectations than watching the first movie. While currently not available for free on any of your favorite streaming platforms, Superman 2 is available to rent for as little as $2.99. Now, it seems like people either really love this movie or hate this movie, but for me, honestly, I fall almost right in the middle, and that's why my final score for Superman 2, the theatrical version, is a six out of 10, which is slightly above average. This movie had a ton of potential with Lex Luthor on the loose and him teaming up with General Zod and his cronies while trying to take over Earth, but unfortunately, it just falls a little flat. Now, there are some really great moments in this movie, but there's also just a ton of plot holes that'll just have you shaking your head now have you guys ever watched superman 2 the theatrical version or have you watched the richard donner cut i have not watched the richard donner cut so leave me a comment below and let me know if i should check out that version all right guys if you like movie look back reviews like this make sure you subscribe here to toned in entertainment for future videos subscribe to the channel do it go now do it now